so as you see here we got the arm with three pieces of it and I changed the position of the pivot point you can do this by selecting the object in the object mode go to hierarchy effect pivot only and adjust the pivot to the position you wish and then turn this off so now if we select this one for instance and rotate it that's what we get so it's rotating on this hinge this position represents the hinge now we need to create the pin we need to have this pin let me see it this pin right here it's rounded and it has this groove so we go to create and I will you create a cylinder it's gonna be right here okay this one and we need to make the radius let's make it something like three the height I will make it one height segment make it one cap segment make it one sides make it 14 and now let me push it down to its position and I need to go to top view and make sure it's right here okay let me get back to front view and uh, before I do this I selected all the objects and scale them down because this will be part of the whole spider so now I need to assign a material first this material and right click convert to editable poly go to vertex mode and create cuts so right click cut and let me create these cuts Um, actually I will leave this one I don't need triangles and this goes this way this too you create the cut by using left click then drag you don't drag actually you just go and you select the vertex and go to this vertex make sure you see two lines not just dot line dot line means you will create some new vertex but we need here to create the cut with the what we have of vertices and then we press using left click then right click to start a new one and i find this enough fair enough so right click to get rid of the cut tool now let's go to polygon mode and I will select this group of polygons and I need to extrude it with a negative value let's make it minus 2 and see what we get actually we need it first to take the object outward before we do this extrusion and we need to make an insertion first so we push this guy right here so I can see what's going on we get back to polygon mode we still keep our selection we make an insertion with a value like 0.1 that's a good value press ok now we do the extrusion with the negative value yeah that's why I wanted to make sure it's not going outward 
so let's make it minus 0 0.8 and it's good it's okay now we need need to take down these vertices these vertices right here and right here we need to take them down to make this slope curvy so we go to vertex mode and I need to get back to from view select these two group of vertices now I change the view to right view and deselect this group press F3 and push these down we will do this process a couple more times with other vertices you see so again press F3 again to see it we need to select these four vertices and take this bit down and again in the front view I need to select this whole line go to right view and deselect this group and I need to push this forward like this so I can have this shape that's perfect okay so now select the whole object go to top view make sure it's in position and it's not overlapping now we need to make a copy of it put it right here so we use rotate we make sure we're activating angle snap because we will make a copy of it while turning this around 180 degrees so we press shift and we go 180 that's it and we will make it an instance not a copy and press ok now we need to put it in place exactly in the opposite direction and actually similar tools can be used to make this like symmetry for instance now I need to make another copy for this place so press shift and take him right here and this time it will be a copy because I will change its parameters press ok and let's get back to front view now I need to scale this and I need it to be a universal scale so let me go to perspective view and scale it from this triangle you see right here actually this is fine so let me go to front view orthographic from view and push him to his position let me check from top view of course needs to be adjusted and I will make some rotation but first I need to make a copy of it so again rotate shift 180 and this will be an instance maybe a copy if you want to change its more its parameters and he needs to go right here so now let me get closer both of them need to be rotated so I go to rotate and I think I need to deactivate this angle snap tool and do this rotation and then push him down do the same for this one rotation first to the reverse direction of the other one and then 
push this way so now if we go to front view that's what we have actually I need to rotate the uh, this pin so this groove takes this direction like what we have here it takes this direction so I need to select both of them as I recall these two cylinder if we press F3 so we can make sure we, we're selecting the appropriate pieces yeah so we go to rotate activate angle snap and I need to rotate them this way same for this this one with this one and I need to rotate them you don't need to do this step it's just to make things realistic a bit of course we can change this later but now we got this leg let's press P to go to perspective view and see everything we have a perfect leg and actually let's press uh, ctrl s to save it actually if we go to the model we got here three and three so we got six copies of this guy so we need to hide it and start modeling this piece right here this one so i select everything make sure it's selected here and right click hide selection now the leg is hidden we need it later press ctrl s and now let's get back to front view and start modeling the other piece this piece it's a simple piece actually it's um, I will use a tube to create it and then this piece inside these pieces will be a uh, some cover of the tube maybe we can separate it and then we, we need to create tubes here using bend to model it so keep up with us in the next tutorial